everybody, Michael Mowbray here. I'm sitting here working on editing a senior session. Really, I'm, I'm in the midst of importing it into Lightroom when I saw this high key shot. And there's something I wanted to show you, which is a quick hack in case you don't quite get your high key lit properly. Now, let me back up a step. I firmly believe in getting everything as right as you possibly can in camera. But I'm also a realist, and I understand, especially in the situation I was in here, um, I wasn't really totally set up to do high key. And it was kind of on a whim once I saw the stress. It's like, okay, let's pop her over and see some high key stuff. Um, what was missing in this? I didn't have a large enough light source as my key light. And I didn't, I don't call it lazy maybe, <laughs> I didn't want to take the time to set up a really big softbox that I didn't already have set up. And a larger softbox, a larger light, would have spilled more light onto the floor. We would have cleaned up some of the stuff. We're still going to have a little different tone here. So what I decided to do is like I'm going to concentrate on uh, keeping the flow going with the senior. And I know that I've got a 30-second hack, if even 30 seconds, to clean this stuff up. And that's what I want to show you. So I'm in my Lightroom workflow editing the uh, session, and I look at this and go, you know what, I don't want them to see this because I understand what it's going to look like as a final product, but the mom's not going to. So very quickly and very easily, I can go into Photo. I'm in Lightroom right now. I can go to Photo, Edit In, Viveza 2, which is a NIC product. Viveza 2. I'm going to edit a copy with Lightroom Adjustments. It's going to create a TIFF file for me. And again, I'm not going out to Photoshop or anything else. I'm staying within Lightroom, and this is using the Viveza 2 plug plugin that's in Lightroom that I have connected to Lightroom. Now, all I have to do is go over here, add a control point. I'm going to drop that in on the darkness here. Give me a little bit larger circle, and I'm just going to take the brightness up. And boom, look at that. All that goes away. Now, since I've already done that on one side, I can click on my Alt key in PC and drag that control point over here to the other side. And I've got it done. How quick and easy and painless is that? So if you've ever struggled lighting your high key um, backgrounds and floors perfectly, look at how quickly you can fix it. So the background was perfect. The floor wasn't. We made the floor better. Now the one other thing I would fix here because I would have liked a larger light source uh, that was spilled a little bit more light on her legs too because the tonal difference between her legs and up here is too much. So I can come in and add a control point here and it's just going to grab those flesh tones down here within the circle and I'm just going to take those up to a point where I think they look good. And it's right there. Done! Look at that. I can save that. It's going to save a uh, rendered TIFF back into Lightroom. So I'm staying within my Lightroom workflow yet now I've got a much better image. Boom, look at that. So, just a quick little hack. I thought I'd show you that. It's something I use all the time, especially when I do high key and I don't quite get it right. And quite honestly, I rarely ever get the high key just perfectly, especially on the floor. I'll make sure I get the light right on the client. I got the light right in the background, but that floor is a pain to get lit. So here's one way to quickly fix it and have it look good. And now I'm gonna show this to mom. Mom has no idea what kind of magic I did in the background and I don't care. You know, I want her to see something that she can say, yeah, I want to buy that. And she will. I guarantee this is going to be a sell. So 30-second hack. Hopefully that helps you out. Mowbray here. Tune back in for other hacks as I come up with them.